Hello everybody. This is Yoko's Anime Reactions and this is gonna be my review for High School of the Dead episode 11 and um uh to be completely honest with you guys I forgot that the um or bus orgy scene was in last episode so that's why I didn't mention it but even if I had remembered it I really wouldn't have touched upon it because that was just disgusting. I'm like why? Why, 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 why? Why would they put some kind of scene like that in this show? Thankfully, they didn't show really much. Thank God. I wish they hadn't shown anything at all like that, but... The teacher and that bus full of students... <sighs> make it to... Takagi's home, and they try and obviously take refuge there. Ray is not having it. And also, um, things get a little heated between Takashi and Ray, but nothing really happens with it. He's just, I don't know if he's indecisive or if he still remembers that Ray kind of, well, screwed him over before when she dumped him, but I don't know. Anyway, <sighs> sorry, I'm tired. My nephews just want to wake me up every freaking morning at the buck crack of dawn. I hate it. I never get to sleep in with those two around. Anyway, yeah, they arrive, they are let in, Ray stops them at the door with her gun out, pointed at him, and Takagi's father's actually watching this whole thing, and she explains that he is the one responsible for her being held back a grade because he's the one in charge of the uh, charge of I guess the grades in the system, and he he changed it because politics. I'm not even kidding. His father's in politics, and he had him change raise grades because her father is I guess nosing around where he doesn't belong or something. Which makes sense since he's a police officer, but yeah. I can understand why she would want to shoot him because he essentially, I wouldn't say ruined her life because that's kind of stretching it a bit, but he messed things up is what I'm saying. And she has every right to be angry with him. And even her, even Takagi's father said that he's not going to stop her from shooting him if she wants to. She doesn't, and says that he's not worth the time. And her, the great thing is that Takagi's father sends them and the teacher back on the bus and out of there. He is not letting them stay. Which, I have mad respect for him on that. He is a good judge of character. Anyway. Also, uh... Last episode, Koda and K Takashi got into a little bit of an argument, and they were trying to take Koda's guns away, and thankfully, everybody else came to Koda's defense, saying that essentially, if it wasn't for him, they probably would be dead by this point, because his shooting skills and his knowledge of guns have kept them alive, which is good. And he allows him to keep his guns. And the crazy part about this is that um, there's a group of people in at the house that are essentially not believing that these people that are zombies are actually zombies. They don't believe that they're dead. They just believe that they're sick and that they can be cured. And even Takagi's got a good point on this. We don't have time to try and wait around for somebody to try and find a cure to all this we need to survive and if that means we have to kill a few of these zombies or them or whatever they call them it's probably best because it's either that or get eaten and become one of them essentially so yeah I can completely understand Takagi's reasoning and these people are just in denial they don't want to face the fact that this essentially is a zombie apocalypse and the end of the world cause um at the end of the episode, we are left with a very chilling scenario that they are going to start firing nuclear bombs at each other. Oh, that's not good. 
If anybody's got any comments on all this, feel free to leave them in the se in the comment section. If you like this, if you like the reaction, you know, like the video. If you haven't already subscribed and you like some of the content on my channel, feel free to subscribe because I might end up picking more content you like. And I hope to see you guys next time.